What up, YouTube? We are back again with another video. It's Nick and Yoli. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Today is not the first. What's today? It's the fifth, but it's still Black History Month. So shout out to all my people. In honor of Black History Month, Yoli and I are going to be playing a card game called Hella Awkward. The founders of Hella Awkward are a brother and sister duo, and they are black. They're from New York, and their name is, I believe, Brittany and Brandon. When we first played the game, we were seeing things that we were like, yo, this sounds like I would say it, you know, and we were like, they have to be black. Like, and I looked it up and sure enough, they were black. So shout out to them. Another Black History Month plug. So we found this in Target in our most recent Target run. And we did like a Valentine's Day gift guy. I'm getting a sis. I don't know how much it is, but both of them are already open. I hope it doesn't have cards missing, but it has really good questions. I swear this is the first one I opened. Butt injections, yes or no? And I keep starting to rumor that Nick has butt injections. This is so funny. <laughs> and this came up. We love this. We always do card games for our TikTok lives. So we figured to keep it going for the vlog. For the vlog, I'm sorry. Um, it has different levels. One is for real talk. So it's like kind of like a level one, but deeper than level one. Then there's dating. Then there's relationships. And then sex. Where should we start? Real talk? Right, let's, yeah, let's start easy. Let's do one level one. <laughs> let's start okay. easy. Damn. Not that easy. Uh -oh. Real talk. Parenting is hard. What should your parents have taught you when you were younger? That's uh, a good one. What should my parents have taught me? I think um, how to process my emotions better. <laughs> Maybe... Um, I think if they would uh, help me work through them versus me trying to work through them myself or, myself or allowing me to work through it myself, I probably would be able to manage them a little bit better today and work through them, you know, and not just like bottle up or um, shut down. So, yeah, that's one of them. What about you? Um, Mine, I think I wish I would have been taught that it's okay to make mistakes and that's out for all my oldest uh siblings of the family um oldest daughters of the family all my immigrant children out there like you know how heavy it feels to make a mistake because you have in the back of your head or in the forefront that your parents moved to this foreign country with nothing to build a better life for you and just everything i my whole childhood felt like it was all to like prove to them that their move was worth it. Yeah. Oh my, God, I'm like tearing up already. <laughs> <laughs> Record time. Um, so uh, mistakes felt heavier. Like I, I didn't feel like I could make a mistake. So I wish I would have learned that it's okay to make mistakes. I mean, even to this day, I feel like heavy when I do. I feel scared when I make a mistake or I think I disappointed someone. So I wish I would have learned that like you can learn from mistakes. Mistakes aren't a death sentence like you are more than your mishaps so your parents never not once said hey it's okay you made a mistake no i should have known better <laughs> no. i i should have always known better yeah like i i should have known better and or i didn't make a mistake yeah wow i mean yeah i mean i think that would be tough too like because uh i heard that all the time from my parents like on a regular what you know, what you hear that you know it was a mistake it's okay you learn from it and then you move on you know what i mean like it was handled i guess with care maybe but that's something that i really admire and like i'm drawn to you about is how you handle like my mistakes or my i mean i won't even it's, it won't even be a mistake it'll be like me wishing i did something else or wishing i went faster on a run or whatever you're just like hey you went as fast as you could like you're just so like, it's okay, and I don't practice that. I'm, I try to practice it. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I try to practice it, but it's, like, it's so much heavier than, it's just a gentler, like, talk yeah. that I'm just not used to. Right. So, no, you definitely say that all the time. You're always, like, com like assuring me that, like, you did your best. Like, did you give your best effort? And that's all that matters. Yeah. So I really appreciate that. 
<laughs> you stare at me when I cry. Just be, how do we look at home? Like, are you okay? Because I, I hate to see people crying. I'm just like, and they know I'm not very good at consoling. And either. I was about to say, Nick just said that she doesn't do well with emotions. And here I am like sobbing. No, no. Not I sobbing. mean, I, I try to do better, you know, you but are. I'm not the best at like, bring it in, yeah. you know, like, I'm just like, you good? Because a, a lot of people don't even like getting consoled when when they're crying you know right. they're like oh it's fine it's fine you know you being one of them yeah and so i'm just like making sure like you're good if you need me i'm you got a shoulder all the time yeah <laughs> no you just all stare right, at me with white eyes question, i know Golly. hella <laughs> awkward hella awkward all right let's see do the green the or green? the wait wait, wait. yeah the, the green, yellow so whatever the green next. is relationships dang I don't want to ask this question because it's a question that we are going to dedicate an entire video to. Okay. Stay <laughs> aside. Oh, funny. Yeah, so not this question. Or put it aside, baby. Yeah, let me put that aside. We're actually going to do a whole video on that because I think it's really important. Um, all right, this is a good one. Are you open to interracial relationships? What about marriage? Ooh um you're asking me or are you gonna ask i'm asking you okay i have been in an inter interracial relationship i think ever since i started dating ever i don't think i've ever really dated my own um only as of late have i dated like half my own like you're half mexican my ex um is half cuban like that is like the closest i've been to to like dating my own people but um with interracial relationships i think there needs to be curiosity in the differences and patience when people don't know how people do things differently like an easy thing that always comes up is like chicken like do you wash your chicken do you or do you just like go straight to cooking it and like different cultures do it differently and it's not to sit here and be like you're dirty or to like label somebody because they do it differently yeah. like they've survived their whole generations just fine doing it the way they've been doing it just people do it differently in different cultures. And I don't think everyone's um, equipped for that. But anyways, what was the question? Do I do them? Do I believe in them? <laughs> Are you open to interracial relationships? And what about marriage? Yeah, I'm open to it. I think, I mean, I think all my friendships are interracial for the most part. So, yeah, open to Your them. Your friendships? Mm-hmm. Well, what about relationships? All of them have been. Yeah. Okay. Um, I Obviously, I'm open to interracial relationships. Um. I'm not opposed to it. Uh, I have only, though, dated black and Hispanic people. I've never dated a white person before. I also haven't really been in a setting, especially in the LGBTQ plus community, where it is still segregated, where there's white lesbian parties and black lesbian parties. And, you know, it's just all segregated still. Um I haven't been in a setting to meet a white girl that I would be like interested in. And you have. So, I mean, I don't know. You've been in different um, settings than I have. And I grew up going to the black gay club. You know what I'm saying? I grew up in a Hispanic gay club, mm -hmm. you know, so where you barely seen white people like even the club. Today in Dallas, Sue Ellen's on Friday night on the most lit night to go to. Mm -hmm. It's all black folks. So nobody else wants to go on the other nights because it's not what they feel welcome to. They don't play hip hop. They don't. You know what I'm saying? So it's like almost like the communities are like segregated to me. But yeah, how did you date white people? Because <laughs> it never happened for me. It never happened. <laughs> Um, for me, especially as you were talking, I'm like, it almost sounds like your driving force is like socioeconomic, like similar backgrounds or like that's more of a click than like culture. Uh, but anyways, I met, I mean, I met them at the gay club too, but I mean the Latina gay, gay nights, white people came to not all of them, not a lot of them, but the ones that were with the shits came. And you're talking about like. Two different parts of the United States, right? There are some white people yeah. that show up to the gay club, but, like, not enough for, like, everybody to get out. You know what no. I'm saying? So you must have been lucky enough to meet someone that meshed with you. That's just the white people I met. Like, they were all inner city 
most of them were inner city kids, like inner city Chicago, and it's like they grew up public school. They grew up, and that's important to me. Like to me, like yes, race, but like if it was a Latino uh, or Latina person who went to like an Ivy League school, et cetera, I'm like I would be interested in like the academic like connection, but like growing up, like you said, like our I don't know, there wouldn't be much connection there, so I wouldn't be as interested. But I love like a real, real ass inner city kid. I don't know. Yeah. I love public school uh, kids. I love what it teaches you. I love a little grit. I love, so they grew up like that. They grew up also poor and on welfare, worse off than I did. So yeah. I don't know. There was just a lot of mm-hmm. like, I don't know, attraction in that, I guess. Yeah. I mean, all that I'm saying is I'm not opposed to it. If I met <laughs> a white girl that was well, not anymore. looking to me. Right. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking, if I met a white woman and I vibe with her and connected with her on that level, I would be more than willing to know her, her family, where she comes from, all that. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I'm opposed to. It's just what I've known. For you the don't longest. find them attractive, though. You only think Margot Robbie. Margot Robbie. That's how you say her that name, right? as uh, being attractive. Yeah, I'm saying, but you don't, like, in general think that they're attractive. She thinks the one girl from the Barbie movie who's <laughs> fine as hell. I think she's, like, equally, everyone can I say. Mean, you know, um, but you don't even find them attractive. But I if I find one, there are some. I just having it. So, yeah. like. Well, don't go looking too hard. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Call them out. them out if they, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, if I think I- any race, if I think they're attractive, there's attractive women in every single race. Yeah. Women are beautiful, period. So, like, like I said, in my life path, have not crossed across a white girl or, you know, so I've always dated black and Latino. She's digging herself into a hole. So okay, we're gonna, yeah. We're going to let that go. We, <laughs> this game is hella awkward, okay? Hella awkward <laughs> for a reason. All right, I'm going to let you pick the next card because <laughs> heck no. Nah. Um, the next one's dating. Let's see. Wait. Wait. We did oh, relationships. relationships. Next one's relationships. No, we did relationship just now, and well, that was dating. awkward. It's any order. Oh, it's again with the damn... We might skip this. Does your family have any issues with you dating from a different ethnic background? If yes, uh, skip. would you do it? Right? Too similar. Please skip. <laughs> Lord. God, it's getting awkward and toasty. Open this thing. Ooh. Your friend or sibling is dating someone, but they can do better. Do you say something or mind your business? Mm, if my friend... Or sibling. Man, both, I'm telling you. I'm going to be like, bro, you can do better. Sis, but they're madly in love. Better. I'm still going to tell you if uh, it's just my opinion. And it might be unsolicited. It depends because if it's something they need to know for real and I really love that person, what if they're cheating on that person? You know what? No, if, there's no cheating involved. So there's no cheating. They're just like, I love this person. I think I found my person. You're like, that is not on your level. Um, I might say something once like, bro, you sure you want to do this? This person has this, this and that. But honestly, when it comes down to that, it's not our business. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So like that person would really have to do something that I feel like needs protection um, like for cheating. my friend. Yeah. yeah. Like cheating or disrespecting or abusing them. Then I would say something. But if it's just because I thought that they were like not on their level, that's not my business. So. Mm. What about you? I would mind my business, but I think I'm too transparent and I think like <laughs> in my face and in the way I act towards people. So I think you would be able to tell that I'm like not sure about this person, but at the end of the day, if they treat my friend or sibling right and if they if they're respectful, if my friend's happy or my sibling's happy, that's what I care about. Everything else, maybe, like, I think they need to have these certain kind of, like, accolades or characteristics, but that doesn't matter to my friend. So, not my problem. I'm going to be a little, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> about the person. But also, if, if my friend's happy, then I'm happy. Okay. It'll show on my we face, We did so. dating? Yeah, we just did dating. So, dang. So the, the sex last card one. is kind of wild. I don't like to do a sex card, like... We could we could pick one. Oh, we doing the sex card. Oh, okay, Every, it's hella awkward. Okay, we are. It's already awkward. Look look at the questions y'all got me answering, man. I got um, I got lash extensions on, like the strip ones. I usually have like my individual, but I have strip ones. I swear, <laughs> I feel like I have like a droopy eye. This one is too personal. 
I, I said, say it out loud. No, no. Say it out loud. That one is, what's your sexual fantasy? <laughs> mm. <laughs> what is it? Go ahead. Wait. No? Okay, then. Stud on stud. What? Stop playing with me. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh. Rate your overall sex. Your overall drive on a scale from one to ten, your sex drive. Ten being what? It just says one to ten. No, I'm saying let's like. Ten this, being a high sex drive. But what's high? Like every day, like need it every day. Girl, one to ten? Go ahead. What do you think yours is? Uh, Ten would probably be needed every day. Uh, mine's a good eight. <laughs> I think it's an eight. For sure, I get moody if I don't have sex. What about you? Mm. I mean, I thought I had a higher sex drive until I met Nick. <laughs> so, I guess I'll say six. Compared to you, six. I think in general, I would say seven or eight. In general? Yeah. Don't compare to me. Uh, seven or eight then usually <laughs> but that i mean because i like to have sex i mean ideally it'd be two times a week um but you know sometimes life life's schedules travel and if that happens i'm not then in like cranky like some people but um but that's why i'm just like well i mean maybe i'm actually okay with that ideally two times a week two times yeah <laughs> what? No. Two times. Two I times, mean, two times. minimum for me, two times a week. That's right. Great. Right. That's a difference. That's, yeah. That's a difference. I mean, I feel like two times a week is minimum because if I'm having sex on Monday and then again on Saturday, the whole week don't went by. What am I to do? Yeah, that doesn't, that doesn't work for her. Like, it's just, again, so I thought I had a high-ish sex drive. Um, but no, not compared to Nick. Mm. All right. You want to pull another, qu- another card? Another cool. question? I was going to say question, but <laughs> so it's quad. All right, I'm going to do a sex one just to see. We're going to answer this one. Is there anything that's entirely off the table? But we've done that. Okay, yeah, yeah. We're doing the new cards for y'all. Okay. Yeah, because we've answered some of these. We've answered some of these on live. So, lights on or lights off? Ah, uh, um, I'm. I don't really care to be honest. You asking the wrong high sex drive person. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> the lights on, flickering, broken, dimmed, hazy, blue, yellow, red. I couldn't do it with like this much light on like i don't like like all this light on like that's too much like if a light is on or a couple lights aren't like that's different um but like all the fluorescent like i can't do that the light you know isn't it doesn't stopping you it ain't gonna stop me yeah turn the light on off it don't matter nick is giving this vibe like she's the kind of person who will like fuck you on a mattress on the floor she's not she has a little bit of standards to make it seem like she'll just do it any which way. <laughs> no, you're right. Not, you know, we're not just going to just be basic with it, you with, know. Yeah, but, the mattress on the I floor mean, with no sheets on. Just, yeah, no. Nah. You're giving that vibe. You're like, I'll do it anywhere. <laughs> I'm just saying, the lights on or lights off, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Keep them on, off. It's whatever. Pr- preferably, like, if I had to choose yeah. one, lights off. It's I don't better. want pitch dark is my only thing. I like to like see a little bit of like what's. I mean, you're what I'm gonna with. adapt. Your yeah. eyes are gonna. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your eyes gonna be night vision in no time. So <laughs> <laughs> at the time, your eyes close anyway. It's like oh, true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next question. All right. Last one because it's one. just awkward, man. I'm sure Mogul's looking like God. It's awkward. <laughs> what is your type? You want me to pick another one? See? <laughs> yeah, another one. Because I'm just like... See? See? I'll just answer it. Because I feel like I get so much shit about it on, like, 
all the time. Yes. What is your type? Yoga? Apparently, everyone, like, every time there's a video or anything of me and Nick, they're like, well, obviously, she got a type. So I'm just like, right, well, y'all right. tell me what my type is. But I would say that everyone shares, um, like, personality-wise, um, a big, they lean towards, like, wonder and, like, they're just curious, like, they're into, like, knowing how things work within the world and the universe spiritually. Everyone's, like, spiritual in some sense. Um, personality wise, everyone's been funny, funny to me at least. You have to be funny. There has to be laughter in the relationship. I can't, I can't otherwise. Um, everyone's really kind. That's like a big one. Not everyone's been well. Everyone's been gentle. Now physically, <laughs> everyone's tall. I'm a sucker for jaw lines and high cheekbones and nice butts. Nice but mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, checking off the boxes over here. So. <laughs> so we Gucci. What's your type? Um, I like shorter women. <laughs> <laughs> Preferably. I don't think I could date someone as tall as me, although I have, but it didn't work out. Um I like someone who I can learn from and grow with. Um I like someone who has a good follow through, like someone who like practices what they preach for the most part, because obviously it's easier to take your own advice. I mean, to give advice than to take your own advice. So I, I like it when people put forth some type of effort into what they're doing. And um, to me, it's like not perfecting it, but like effort makes all the difference. So um, I like... You know, I I have a thing about um, people who treat their mothers a certain way. So I like people who, like, handle their mom with care or understanding, you know, and um, family-oriented. Um, but, yeah, as far as type, like, to me, uh, looks don't really matter um, as long as I'm attracted to you. Like, I don't care if, like, everyone else is, like, you know. Uh, I like nice smiles. I like lips. <laughs> Why are you looking like that? <laughs> I'm looking at your lips and your <laughs> smile. And uh, let's see what else am I attracted to? What what is my type? I like girls that dance. Yoli does not dance, but she's still my type, and she dances sometimes. You know, she's a little jig in the club. She ain't like. I would never literally break out into like TikTok dance or <laughs> like full on like I, that's just never me. Yeah, ever. I mean, I, I only say that because I really like to dance. So like, if we're at the club or something, most likely you catch me on the dance floor. I will go to the country club and learn the line dances and just do all that jazz with or without you. And like, I tell my partner quick, like, "Hey, I'm finna go dance. I'll be back." Nick wants us to be like uh, save the last dance. Yeah, like I'm like I'm literally never doing that. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right that's enough on my type man <laughs> okay that's enough all right well that's it yeah that's it for the card game yeah so shout out to Britt and brandon who made this card game hella awkward we got ours at target i'll definitely leave it down in the description box below so y'all can cop the card game it is really really fun and i feel like it has helped our connection grow um I know that they made this card game to help their connection grow during COVID, which was pretty interesting. Like they were just a brother, brother and sister duo locked in the apartment during COVID and they came up with this game. So it, it's really cool how it built their connection and it's helping us now build ours. So yeah, appreciate y'all tuning in. Make sure you smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button and the bell right next to it so y'all can stay notified when we upload on our channel. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Bye.